Welcome to the winter meeting of 2020 and would we ever have thought uh, at this meeting last year that this is what we'd be doing. It's been uh, quite a year, um, no need to go into details about that. But here we are and haven't we learned a lot? We've learned a lot over the last year on how to how life can carry on um, despite being in a global pandemic and I think there's a few silver linings to the, the ways that humanity has been forced to change the way that we work, change the way that we uh, communicate and function. And I think this online conference is one of those silver linings that it's um, been put together by an incredible um, organizing team, which I will hopefully be able to go. Oh, there they are. -da! The organizing team are from uh, uh, several parts of the world, I think, and they have pulled together an amazing online meeting, which I think the, the word that sums up this meeting is very much that it's international. It, this isn't just a Northwest European meeting, it seems anymore. It, this is, this is uh, international, it's absolutely incredible. And the, uh, the fact that we've drawn in so many punters from around the world is entirely down to these fabulous people here who have been breaking their backs making sure that all the technical side, the Slack channels, the, um, the engagement of the uh, different people, the speakers from around the world, um, selecting the abstracts, it's been a huge amount of work and these people all deserve a very uh, silent round of applause, but we'll do it hopefully with sound on later on. <laughs> okay, um, there we go, right. So these slides I have to say were put together very kindly by the committee for me. Um, so I take no credit for them and, and wouldn't normally have this much information, but I think it's really very cool to see where everybody's come from. So we have 180 people registered um, and at least 100 of them are actually online at the moment. And um, I, 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 I have to say, I, have, I think that possibly that we've already Brexited. So the UK is now separate from Europe <laughs> in this. I presume it's not included in there. So we, we are um, majority from the UK, but, but following very, very close behind by all of our lovely uh, rest of Europeans. Um, but we've had people from Africa, Asia, uh, America, Middle East. Um, it's really, really incredible. Um, another thing that we feel quite um, strongly about is that our meetings are able to attract in people from across the career structure. We really want to be speaking to uh, everybody from the undergraduates to the masters, PhDs, postdocs and group leaders. And this meeting in particular, I think because it's online, it's been able to be accessible to people from all parts of the career structure. So we have a brilliant body of um, PhD students attending. Uh, this this uh, this meeting, and I really hope that they're able to um, feed back to the group, feed back to the, the the conference as well through the Slack channels and through the uh, the breakout rooms. And we really look forward to to meeting you all um, online very soon. Um, it's very important that we uh, give a mind to diversity and equality, and making sure we represent the scientific community uh, in which we work. And we live in a population which is broadly 50-50 male-female. And so we should be striving to uh, ensure that we do have that equal representation. Um, and we're doing pretty well at this conference uh, today um, in that um, we are not quite 50-50. We've still got a, a slight male bias here, but we are doing really well. I think the Iowa Society General um, attracts and, and supports and nourishes a lot of uh, female scientists. So that's really something that we should be very proud of. However, um, very interesting data that the committee have gathered here that, uh, as you know, you could apply for a talk or a talk slot or a poster slot. And um, it turns out that men are more likely to ask for a talk slot and women are more likely to ask for a poster slot. Um, so uh, that's something that clearly we need to be trying to rectify and so particularly the group leaders, maybe you can take a role in encouraging your female uh, postdocs and PhD students to consider um, offering a talk next year rather than um, a poster. Um, our keynote, our plenary speakers uh, this uh, this conference are from 
all corners of the world. It's utterly incredible. So Yusuf is from South Africa. Uh, Inge is in uh, Colombia. Sylvia is in uh, Austria. Andreas in Denmark. I'm in the UK. And Lotta is in Finland. We have uh, these plenary speakers from all around the world. Normally, we wouldn't be able to afford to just fly all these people <laughs> into a meeting. So hooray, one of the other perks, the few perks of the pandemic. Um, I'm not going to go through this in detail, but I, this program is being, the link has been sent to you. Hopefully you've been able to access it. Basically, each day we have uh, two plenaries, a bunch of contributed talks and a poster session with some flash poster talks. And we have poster breakout rooms the committee have set up and we hope that you'll take the opportunity to go into pop in to a poster breakout room and have a chat with those people who have been presenting the posters. Um, we also have social breakout rooms at the end of each day. Um, so please do make use of those. Um, because one of the great things about uh, conferences is, of course, meeting people. It's not necessarily only about hearing about the cool science. In case you're not familiar with Zoom, um, the, there are some breakout rooms already set up. Um, and so you need, this is some information on how to get there. You click on the breakout rooms. Uh, you join, you click join by choosing the name of the poster presenter that you want to join. And then um, I've actually had this before. I've got stuck in a breakout room, unable to get out. <laughs> just a kind of bizarre experience. You just click on the leave room button and then you can return to the main session. Um, but if any any time you need some help, you can just click uh, to ask for help. So it remains for me just to say, have a fabulous amount of fun, everyone. Um, it's going to be a great three days. It's awesome that it's spread over three days so that it's not, uh, we don't get Zoom uh, overload. We're not going to all be Zoombies. Uh, we get the mornings off and then we get the afternoon to, to have a, a bit of fun um, social insect science. Okay.